dear society i'm dr sandra a first year resident at a government hospital in delhi our icu received its first covid positive patient on the 28th of march a seemingly healthy man in his early 40s who was not maintaining his blood oxygen saturation levels since i was new to this situation i thought he would make it but he did not even make it till my next shift since then our icu has been ambushed with covid positive patients i was emotionally unprepared for the kind of grief covid brings with itself i told parents that their 22 year old son died lied to patients that they would get better when i knew to my bones that they wouldn't watched breathless women crying to allah all night watched people shatter in front of me as i told them their loved one died the last words of one of my patients before my friend intubated her was that she had a 4 and an 11 year old at home and that she had to make it for them she did not make it mother stood before us with folded hands asking us to save their children i looked at that what is every day and told myself that i need to stop thinking and keep working i came back from work and cried about everything i was supposed to say I cried anxious that I would die just like my patients my overthinking had reached such heights that I would ask myself if I should tell my parents that I do not wish to be intubated if I were to die of covid trust me your lockdowns are not difficult you haven't seen the horrors we see I wish I could show you videos of the pain I see just to scare you enough for you to stay inside saying that it's difficult is an understatement i do not wish to see this none of us do do not put us through this pain do us all a favor i'm not asking you to stay inside i understand that not everyone has the luxury to do that just wear a mask when you're outside i would also like to remind everyone that every frontline worker every healthcare worker is working tirelessly during this pandemic i just happened to speak about it thank you